guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, today's tutorial is um, related to the PC, namely Windows 10. This can also apply for other versions of Windows. So what I'm going to do today, guys, is show you how to speed up your PC or speed up your laptop. It doesn't really matter as long as it's a Windows um, PC. I'll show you some quick tips to make your device way more responsive. Now, of course, one of the greatest things with any computer is speed. Now, of course, when you just got your laptop, it might have been very snappy. And of course very responsive but then um, after a while what you have realized is that it has slowed down now this is natural it's nothing to be afraid of however it does happen regularly um, it's not an issue if you know exactly what to do there are several tricks you can do to make your PC way more responsive so for example if it's lagging at the login screen or of course it's very slow in terms of browsers and so on I'm going to show you things you can do to speed it up. Now, the first and easiest thing to do, guys, is if you're a person that doesn't turn off your PC at all, go ahead and restart your PC. So just go to the Start menu. And, of course, make sure that you do a total power cycle, meaning do not restart. Do a cold boot by shutting down completely. And, of course, when you shut down completely and start back up, it will give your PC a fresh start. The reason why I recommend this, and it might sound dead simple, is because, um, of course, um, Windows does try to preserve memory, meaning the last apps you were, um, that were open, once you relaunch, they do get um, reloaded back into memory, which allows the system to get a bit stale. And of course, when things or gadgets are left on for too long, they do become very um, slow. All right, so that's the first tip. Second tip is to clear the um, cache. Now, cache is temporary files that build up on your PC, especially in your browsers. And of course, since we spend a lot of time online, it's a good idea to clean up your PC in general. That includes of errors as well as your cache. Now, I recommend any clean program. There's um, a variety of them such as um, Clean Master and there are many more. You choose which one you want. There are many you can find online. There are free ones as well. The one I use here is CC Cleaner. Now, please note I'm not um, promoting CC Cleaner. This is the one that I use. And I know some... Um, some users are going to be very um, skeptical about this um, program, seeing that it has privacy issues in the past. But it's good enough for what I need it for, and I only use it for cleaning, and that's it. But of course, if you do not like this program, do not use it. However, I use it because I've been using it for years. Um, there were some privacy concerns in the past, but as I said, I'm just using it for cleaning. Any program of this sort can be used, and after this, I'll show you an alternative. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, I'm not going to update right now, so I'm going to hit no. And of course, it gives you an option here. It says easy clean, meaning this is the convenient option. You can hit analyze and let it do its, does its thing. Or I like to do the manual method where I do custom clean. Custom clean means I choose what I want um, to be clean. So what I do in these cases is I choose my main browser. As you see here, we have a bunch of options. And I uncheck what I don't want to be deleted. For example, if I don't want my passwords to be deleted, I uncheck some of these options. Um, applications over here will show you stuff like Firefox, notice I keep my sessions, my saved password and form information. You can always uncheck these. Or you can check everything and do a, a manual clean. Now, the first thing to do after you um, select custom clean um, or in your version of your um, program, simply go ahead and hit analyze. By doing an analysis, what you do is to see how much space can be cleared up. I won't do it on this one right now. But of course, once you analyze and you see what can uh, be clean, next go ahead and run cleaner. The process will only be completed after you run the cleaner. Next, I suggest that you clean the registry of your um, PC. Now, your registry is basically um, can become corrupted over time. It's always best to do a scan. And after scanning, next you must do a fix issues found if you like to do a backup you can do a backup if you want or you can skip that and go ahead and fix issues all i recommend that you do the backup now fixing registry errors will allow the programs on your computer to execute faster all programs that have been deleted still have entries in your registry and this program can identify orphaned or broken um, registry entries and remove them so it's always a good idea to clean your registry so that's roughly the second major thing you can do now, just in case you do not want to use this cleaner or you don't have a recommended cleaner, what you can do is you can manually clean your PC. Now, manually cleaning is a uh, varies from PC to PC or from browser to browser, seeing that your browser is the main thing that you use. I'm going to switch over to my secondary screen over here. And if you notice right here, 
I suggest that once you're here, simply go ahead and check up over here. All right, so once you're over here, go to the settings option. You'll see the gear icon in the upper um, right of the screen. Go ahead and tap. Now, of course, you're in here. What you want to look for is the option that says, and if memory serves right, you're going to go to um, privacy and security. You'll see a bunch of options here. And it says um, cookies here and data. And it says delete cookies and site data when Firefox closes. If you want this to happen every time, you can check this one. I don't recommend that though. What I recommend is that you clear data or of course you can um, manage your data. Now, if I hit clear data, it will show me here. It will clear a bunch of cookies. Notice it shows site data here and cache website content. Now, of course, you can see how much these um, files build up over time. And this is just for one browser. You'd have to go to each unique browser and find this option. Notice I have almost a gig worth of cache website content. And of course, 2.8 megabytes, which is much smaller of cookie content, which is still a decent amount of cookie content. You're going to go ahead and hit clear. Now, before you hit clear, guys, please bear in mind that clearing any cookies or cache website data is going to do two things. If you're logged into a website such as Amazon, you'll be logged out. Um, and of course, if you log into any other website as well, um, you'll be forced logged out. You'll have to log back in. So if in case you forgot your passwords, it's always a good idea to um, at least make sure you have ways of accessing back your account by knowing the password before you attempt this. Now, of course, once you clear the cache here, you can go to other um Browsers, this one is for um, Firefox. You can do the same in Chrome. You can do the same across the board. But of course, once you do this and clear the cache, you'll find that your web browsers will be way more responsive. And of course, you'll be able to browse um, way um, easier. And of course, your PC will be more responsive in general. All right, guys, so that's how to speed up your um, PC in cases where it's slow and responsive. As I said, just go ahead and do a total power cycle shutdown. And of course, followed by cleaning the registry. And of course, cleaning your cache. Or you can manually clean cache for your browsers. You'll find that your device is way more snappy and responsive as a result of performing these basic maintenance tasks. And it's recommended that you do this at least once per week or at least once every two weeks to keep your um, laptop and so on very snappy especially if it's not a super fast pc all right and i almost forgot there's an extra tip and bonus tip time um, it's always a good idea to free up space on your pc freeing up space gives your um, operating system room to operate you don't want to be in the red meaning you only have like a gig or a couple of megabytes of um, storage it's a good idea to empty the recycle bin of anything that you do not need also go through and audit all your files your documents, videos, and so on. Delete any major um, storage hogs that will be hogging your storage. If you do not do this, guys, you'll find that the PC can be slow as the hard drive is highly fragmented. Um, if you have a mechanical hard drive, I suggest that you get a defragmenting tool that can be found in ma all major cleaning suits that you have out there. Also, um, if you can upgrade to a SSD, that would be a good idea as SSDs are much faster but as i said guys make sure that you free up space by deleting all unnecessary files so that your pc can run freely without needing to be bogged down by large files that's holding up space and that's it all right so i have basically covered the major things you need to speed up your pc in general um, if you have any um, unique problems you can always ask in the comments i can directly answer as i do maintain a lot of pcs and so on so i've experience in cleaning and maintaining them so all right guys ricardo gardner as usual from black tech tips saying goodbye until next time bye guys